If you clicked on this video, then you are an underrated artist just like me. And even if you aren't, please stay and enjoy the coloring and rendering process. So the point of this video is to share my experience on how it is to be an underrated artist, even though I've been really trying to consistently post as much as I can and also being told so consistently how underrated I am and I mean literally so many times. I am just sick and tired of being underrated. I really hope that I can relate to some people who are going through the same thing and you know that your art is good and you know that you're worth the same amount of likes and comments and followers but no matter how much you post it it seems to be out of your grasp and i totally understand how you feel because honestly looking at people's accounts and seeing that they have hundreds and thousands and even millions of subscribers you could just sit there and wonder like how did they do that how are they getting this many followers like can i do that can i even get to that point am i worth getting to that point but at the end of the day you know your own worth and if you truly find art and making youtube videos or having an instagram if it's truly your passion and your calling and you continue to do it whether you have followers or not then it's really meant for you and i sometimes see a lot of people saying like oh i'm just not gonna post anymore even people with like on threads, sometimes I'll see people post, I'm just gonna give up on Instagram or just in general because I can't get over 100k followers and all I can think is, wow, like, I couldn't even imagine what it is to have that many followers because I can't even get past 200, uh, 250 around there and even then, I appreciate my 250 followers followers like if i had all of those people in a room with me and they all follow me because they like my art i would just be so happy so can you imagine 100k people but people still want to give up because they can't move further than that like maybe one day i'll feel that way but i think i'm always gonna tell myself what can i do to get better just like i'm asking myself right now at 250 followers and honestly, talking about Instagram, I have been seeing a lot of people complain about the algorithm and how I guess it used to be better. I do wish I would have started doing this um, years ago, but at the same time, I really wasn't good at drawing digitally when I first got my iPad. Um, I'll post some examples so you can see like how bad I was and that's just because you know it was just like a whole new learning curve and then I also did have an Instagram for my traditional artwork but honestly I was never focused on getting famous or anything like that I mainly just had it for like my friends my family I never really thought about being a content creator and really getting my work to be famous and stuff and I'll post my old traditional art too which is like a completely different style i definitely think tiktok has been one of the easiest platforms to get a lot of views and a lot of followers and honestly i haven't been posting as much as i should but now that i'm getting a little bit better at editing and researching what people want what people want to see I'm definitely going to start posting more on there and hopefully that helps me reach an audience that would like to go from seeing my TikTok and are interested enough to click on my bio and get onto my YouTube. Because for me, YouTube is definitely the number one platform that I'm really putting all my focus on. But I was trying to realize like, that I need to focus on all of them in case my followers and my subscribers want to follow me on other places. It's just, it's a lot of work. It's more work than I thought it was going to be. And it really is something that's full time. And I'm really 
lucky to have the time and the equipment to do it. I know that a lot of people don't have that. They don't. So at that point, I really don't have an excuse to not try as hard as I should be trying. Also, I just did want to clarify that I'm not crying or complaining or begging for followers. I'm just kind of explaining like how I felt emotionally during this journey even when I'm feeling like I'm failing and I'm kind of just hoping that I can connect with people who feel the same way, who feel like they aren't going anywhere and they feel invisible in the art community even though low-key the art community is a little bit scary. I had no idea there was so much drama involved in it, especially with jelly art. Jelly art is my favorite and just because one artist was super mean to her little follower, everyone is just kind of backing off. But you know what? I think that I'm gonna make a comeback for jelly art and I'm gonna be nice to my followers and if they want to trace my art, copy my art, whatever, I totally still respect them and I'm not gonna bully them about it. I'm gonna praise them and tell them that they're doing a good job. I think as long as my artwork isn't completely stolen and I'm getting proper credit, which that person did, if you know, you know, look up, I think, jelly art drama on YouTube and you'll see what I'm talking about. But anyways, I think I'm getting a little bit off track. So back to what I was talking about, um, this whole journey altogether hasn't been very long and I'm already like, my mind is already just going crazy. There's my cat on top of my drawing right now. If you guys feel the way that I do about this art journey and not really being seen in the art community, just let me know how you're feeling down below. And if you are someone who did feel like that and you finally reached a point where you have a large following and a great community, um, I am so proud of you if you have any tips leave them down below that'd be really helpful to not only me but anyone else who sees this video so i made this video because i'm not gonna lie i looked up underrated artists how it feels to be underrated and honestly i couldn't find a lot that were art related the only thing i would find was underrated art tips what about the underrated artists so hopefully this video can reach people who are feeling the way that i'm feeling and that way you know you're not alone and the algorithm sucks your art is awesome don't give up keep trying i believe in you and hopefully you find some motivation um watching me draw and I hope it gets you to get up, go draw something, record it, post it, feel good about your art because that's really what's going to get you to be seen in this art community is confidence in yourself and consistency. I think consistency is like the number one thing that I have heard every YouTuber say on how to... Uh, on how to blow up on pretty much every social media platform it's always posting reels videos anything that you can and maybe that's my problem i'm not posting enough and i do have the time to make drawings and post drawings and i, th I think i always have it in my head where like i don't want to repeat posting about the same drawing but it doesn't really matter because they're probably not going to see that specific one post that I put and I think that a smart thing to do is to make multiple videos of the one drawing instead of burning yourself out and thinking you have to make like 20 drawings every month when I think that's just overkill at that point and you're just gonna you're just gonna burn out and run out of ideas I think I mean unless you can draw that fast then awesome but i think just the way the algorithm works is it's like a lottery 
at some point your video your reel tiktok it could go viral and that could be just the stepping stool the stepping stone what whatever i, I don't know the saying <laughs> just the push that your social media is gonna get and it'll happen for me i know everyone asks why aren't you viral you're so underrated i don't know i don't know how to get viral but the best thing i can do the best thing we can do is keep trying keep posting keep feeling confident and the moment you give up is the moment that you're gonna fail and i'd rather try and try and try and try than just whine about it give up sell my ipad and just think about what could have been when i didn't even put my whole heart into it okay so i'm not gonna yap the whole video session but if you're feeling the way that i'm feeling um give this video a thumbs up or you can leave a comment expressing how you feel um if you like my art please subscribe i'd really appreciate it and yeah don't give up guys see you on the next one please enjoy the rest of the video of this whole coloring and drawing process Bye!